My name is Jenny Funk. I made this movie to let people know how having special needs can be sometimes isolating. And I had an illness when I was three which left me with speech and mobility problems. I use a language board in a walker and do a little sign language. I live in an apartment by myself. Still, it would be nice to have some companionship. Because of this, I decided to adopt a dog. Callie had been abused but was adopted by an elderly lady who had to give her up because of health reasons. Because of this, Callie is extremely fearful of almost everything. Callie has a lot of struggles because of her being abused. Any loud noise like clapping or yelling will make her run. I really love Callie and I know she loves me but sometimes her fear gets in the way. Sometimes I fall down and sometimes I am loud and this scares her. This hurts my feelings but I understand. Despite all of this, I really love her and she really loves me so we struggle on. I'm interested in the film industry, so I'm making this movie to share my experience. I recently made a movie documenting what it means to me having her share her life with me. I am interested in talking with others to find out what their experiences have been and how their pets have helped them in their lives. I would like to introduce you to Brandon, who lives with his English retriever, Chutney. I would say that I am a pretty fun-loving individual um, who loves to perform live in front of other people. I have had Chutney uh, for three years. He uh, basically is a, a service dog, so he came on the job as a very small puppy. Chutney? Chutney, come here. Uh, I just bathed him yesterday, so you'll notice he has a nice clean coat. However, it's still shedding everywhere, <laughs> and that's kind of annoying for me. This is Kia Yersi, who lives with her cat, Rowena. I got her at the Oregon Humane Society. Rowena comes from the book Harry Potter. Rowena Ravenclaw is one of the founder of Hogwarts, which is like the school of witchcraft and wizardry. And she is the head of the House of Intellect. When Callie first came home with me, she would run to me and even sit on the Davenport behind me. Also, she would sleep in my bed at night. Since I am quite restless at night and often thrash about, I probably deck her and now she doesn't. Callie will cautiously approach me and lick me non-stop and I continue to pet and feed her.
One of my favorite memories of Chutney was uh, taking him on the plane to go over to my sister's place. Chutney, he just got on the plane and, 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 and didn't make a noise and got under the seat and he, he just fell asleep and didn't wake up until we were ready to go. So great, you know. It, it, it's so great, it's so great having having him around. Probably like taking her home was really one of my favorite memories. And like at the at the Humane Society, like I was really nervous to take her home, and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like you know, like a first time mom. Like, what am I doing? Um, and my friend just laughed and she was like, it'll be fine. I got her at a time uh, when I had just moved in and I was really um, kind of lonely. Yeah, she'll follow me quite a bit to the point where I have to be very careful that we don't clash. She sleeps everywhere in this little apartment. And then also she'll sleep in the bed with me like a human sometimes. Kittens and cats kind of take over your apartment and make it their own. So I lived with my parents for a, a bit and we always had animals, so animals were always really important. And then I moved into an adult foster care home and I wasn't allowed to have any animals. I would like to take her for a walks, but my hands don't work so well and I can't get the leash fastened. Callie always runs away from me. She is very frustrating with all her little quirks and bad breath, but she is my friend. Still, this is a saga of my struggles with my shelter dog, Callie. Chutney is a service dog, and he has a service to perform. Other dogs, they just are there to be a dog, you know? And, and they don't really perform any service, per se. They can do tricks or whatever, but it's not, not nearly the same thing as going and putting on a vest and, and being 100% on target for wherever you need to go. That, that's what Chutney does. And that is, is so cool. It's so cool to watch him work. I didn't spend a lot of time here, really, because um, I work and go to school. But I, I really knew that I wanted to get an animal. And I knew that cats were low maintenance and it would be like a good starter animal. I think it's really important that people with special needs or people with disabilities um, have access to emotional support animals and service animals. And um, also I think it's very important for veterans to have access to, to those 
um, support animals. Thank you, Brandon, for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Key or C, for your time. Thank you for coming over. <laughs> Thank you for interviewing me. <laughs> My favorite part about making this film was meeting Brandon and Chutney, Kiersi and Rowena, and seeing how these pets have impacted their owners' lives. Both Brandon and Kiersi receive different aids and comforts in their daily lives and the animals provide much friendship to both. I adore Chutney and wish my dog, Callie, was more like him, but Callie truly does love me in her way and we muddle on. I hope making this film will make others aware of the isolation of living alone and how having a cherished pet can make a difference.